Hello Collective, um, this is Blood Queen Tarot, and um, I gotta get my intro together. <laughs> um, um, if you haven't stumbled across any of my other videos, pl please feel free to do so, and um, if you may not know, my channel is fairly new, so I gotta get my intro together, amongst other things, but... Um, yeah, I'm Blood Queen Tarot, and right now, uh, this is going to be for the collective, and it's um, what you can expect and what's going on in your evening hours for December the 9th, 2020, today. So, what's going on, what's happening, um, if you happen to stumble across this video after your, your, your evening hours, like during the night time, or, you know, the next day. Please let me know if um, if you happen to think back. And maybe you could have been at work while I did this reading. So you wasn't at home or something, whatever. Just let me know if it resonates with you. And um, you probably wasn't sitting at home watching, you know, watching tarot. Could have been at work. Um, I don't know why I'm saying that. I meant it. I don't know. Whatever. But if it resonates with you, it could resonate with you at a different time. But this is for the collective, even in hours for December 9th. So I'm doing it a little bit different with um, some different cards. So I'm using this Kipper deck as what's crowning your energy. And what came out was community. Hold on, let me get my son. Sorry about that. Yeah, so community is crowning your energy for the evening hours. And the evening hours could be whatever you feel as though the evening hours is. Um, the evening hours for me is like 4 p.m. to maybe 8. I don't know. But evening hours. I'm just doing the evening hours. East. I'm on East Coast. Eastern Standard Time. So whatever your time frame is. Um, this could resonate with you if you live central Pacific time. This could resonate differently. I'm just doing evening hours. Um, and I'm using this card right here to also, this is, um, King Solomon's Oracle cards. So this is what some advice, some type of, just an extra nugget to add on to the reason, reading. I looked at it. It's a good card. So, we're going to see what's going on with that card. Because that card is a good card. So, to begin with, we have the Knight of Pentacles. This is Earth sign. The Knight of Pentacles could be um, someone making slow and steady progress. I mean, slow. They're stable but they're not in a rush they build in brick by brick so this knight of pentacles could be slow and steady progress this knight of pentacles could be someone committed we together i'm not moving i'm committed to you i ain't going nowhere so this knight of pentacles can mean somebody who's committed they're grounded they're committed to you committed um yeah, so this could be slow and steady progress or committed, commitment. Well, clarify the Knight of Pentacles was this Queen of Cups. When I asked for more information about this Knight of Pentacles, the Five of Cups came out. Five of Cups. What clarified the Five of Cups was this Page of Pentacles. And what I'm getting collective offhand before I begin clarifying, what I'm getting offhand before I clarify this, somebody is committed to leaving behind this Five of Cups. Whatever this Five of Cups is, it's regrets and losses, emotional regrets and loss. Somebody regrets something. And they're committed to leaving it behind. They're either making slow and steady progress away from this five of cups or they're committed to leaving it behind because 
what clarified the five of cups was the page of cups. So maybe someone evolved into this knight of pentacles. You or someone else was in this page of pentacles energy and they could have done something they regret at the beginning stages of something. So this person, you or someone is committed to evolving, doing better. Because this page is going evolving to this knight. And he working on becoming the king of pentacles. So when this person was operating in this page of, in, um, page of pentacles energy, they did something they regret. And to me, the page of pentacles to me also is my bribe card. When someone try to bribe someone, a scam, that's to me, uh, that's what the Page of Pentacles um, card is to me as well as a bribe. So somebody did something at the beginning of something, the beginning stages of something. Um, When it was a page, somebody regret something. And I'm going to use this deck to clarify a little bit more because usually I would use this deck, the tea leaf, but I'm not. I'm gonna use um, I stumbled across this deck right here. I ain't used this deck in a while, so I'm gonna use this tonight for y'all evening hours. And this is the gypsy witch fortune telling cards. So I want to know what this page of pentacles is. Clear from the page of pentacles, number 38 came out, number 38 flames on a Hearth indicates good fortune and neutralizes the evil of near, of the e neutralizes the evil of of near lying unlucky cards. Hmm. So what I'm getting from this card, cause someone trying to right or wrong here, cause this page also pages could be an apology. Somebody could be trying to apologize to someone. Whatever this five of cups is, someone is using this, was trying to use this page energy to clean up this five of cups mess. Because this page is trying to neutralize, even it out, the evil of near lying unlucky cards. And the evil near lying unlucky cards is this five of cups. So, this page could be an apology or somebody thought they was fixing something, but they was acting like a page. They was behaving immaturely. So, um, let me see what this Knight of Pentacles is. Clear find the Knight of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles. What is the Knight of Pentacles? <sighs> Lord have mercy. The Knight of Pentacles clarify this. Number 13, the snake. The snake indicates enmity and calamities. The degree of which governors by the distance. Yeah, this, um, hmm. This Knight of Pentacles could be, <laughs> I don't want to say this, but this person, whoever this Knight of Pentacles is, they a trip. This person is a snake. They not trying to evolve. They getting slicker. So what I'm looking at is, <laughs> <laughs> Somebody made a mess somewhere. This five of cups, this page. He made a mess in the past. He made a mess somewhere. He made a mess. If he did something, this page of pentacles is night. They did something. And this person done learn how to get even better at what they do. Whatever they do, whether it's a con artist, they getting better. At getting away with it. That's what this is. Because I, I wanted to clarify the night. And the snake came out. So this night. Whoever this person is. They getting better at what they do. Whether it's messing up people's life. Being slick. A con artist. And what clarified this. Uh, Knight of Pentacles. Is a Queen of Cups. Now. In the spread, this knight is headed towards this queen of cups. Collective, I hope 
you ain't this queen of cups this night headed towards because this person got slicker. This could be someone from your past when y'all was younger. He was a little bit immature. A little bit, way more immature in the past and he messed stuff up. Now he coming back as a knight. He have mature in his features. He look like he probably a little bit older. Y'all older. But he's still a snake. That's what that could be. Because this Knight of Pentacles is headed towards this Queen of Cups. So, collective, if this is the case, be careful. Because in the past, he, he already did this to you. Or you did this to somebody and you collective. So, I'm... I'm going to clarify this Queen of Cups, too, because this is interesting. Clarify the Queen of Cups. Clarify this Queen of Cups. That Knight, this Knight of Pentacles is headed right towards this Queen of Cups. Yeah. Number 52, the Shepherd. Yup. Yeah. The Shepherd says, the Shepherd indicates an intense love of life and strong fellow feelings. See, this person, yeah, this Knight of Pentacles ain't no good. Because this Queen of Pentacles collective could be you. And you basically mind your business. You're, you're minding your business. This shepherd indicates an intense love of life and strong fellow feelings. Very loving. The Queen of Cups, very loving. And if this Queen of Cups is meaning you're intuitive as well, you could you gonna probably pick up on this person. Cause he had it your way, but he have matured, but he have mastered the game at whatever, conning, uh, two-time or whatever he is. But he had it your way. And he, and, and you are, um, you minding your business, you having a, you know, your life okay. Um, yeah, he know you're a good person too, the Queen of Cups. She's loving. She's very loving. And here he come. So that's what I have at the bottom part. I'm going over to the top. What's crowning your energy is community. Now, community could be, because the cards say one thing, but I don't know if I have enough time to read about the card, what the cards say, but community could be ancestors. Community could be literally your community, um, some type of help, assistance. Again, community could be angels, um, ancestors, because uh, the people in the background look dead. The people in the back look dead. The people in the front look more alive than the people in the back there. So the, the community could be your angels, your spirit guides, ancestors, whatever. So community could be literally earthly community, like um, you help uh, some type of help assistance or whatever, um, or it can be divine your divine community, angels, spirit guides, stuff like that. So, what clarified community was the Page of Cups. Let me have that. Page of Cups. So, this Page of Cups could mean a child. The Page of Cups could mean a birth. Not a birth, but it could mean somebody is pregnant. Because fish. The fish. Because of that cup, love, this fish was produced because of this cup right here. And this woman finding out she pregnant, she like, whoa, what? <laughs> so the page of cups can be news of birth. Yep. So this could be a pregnancy. This could be a, a, a water sign child. If this is an adult, this could be an immature person. This could be someone who's naive, naivety. And what clarified the Page of Cups is the moon. The moon. Again, water energy. The moon is Pisces. So, Queen of Cups is down here. So, collective, if you're Pisces, take note. If you got Pisces in your chart, because it's a lot of water down here. So, and I did the reading for my water signs today. And uh, the water signs was dealing with a snake. So, for December. So, be careful, Pisces. Um, and it's Christmas time too. The holidays, yeah. People get their stealing, conning, all types of stuff. Yep. Um, Christmas time, taxes, all them holidays. People, them scams, 
go up. Them scammers. Didn't I tell you I'm online? Go in your room. I'm almost finished. So anyway, this moon energy. This moon could be someone is intuitive. This could be someone is paranoid. It could be intuition. It could mean something is off. It could mean be cautious, be aware. It could mean enemies. This moon, I read up on the moon. This moon card could mean um, enemies. Like you have unknown enemies in this dark place. They're, they're lurking. This moon card can mean that too. Enemies. Be aware of enemies. Be cautious. So what I'm getting here is this queen of cups down here. Who mind her business, living a good life. Could be an empress too. She could be naive. Or this knight of pentacles lurking. She's naive to the fact. That's what I'm getting. She's naive to the fact. And the community. Your spirit guys, her spirit guys, angels, whatever. They could be here assisting her. This queen of cups could be naive to the fact that this. Knight of Pentacles is on his way to her. And her community is here. So since the community is here, since the Queen of Cups is intuitive, she could be feeling some type of way. Not even knowing he on his way. He right, he on the way to her. So she could be feeling some type of way. She might be, the community might nudge her to even pray. Because this Knight of Pentacles, this snake is on his way. The snake on his way. So this community card here could be nudging her, the spirit, spirit. He could be nudging her to pray because the community, if this is ancestors and angels, they know this knight of pentacles is on his way. And this queen of cups is naive to the fact that he looked like a man. He done grew up, you know, got a nice beard. You know, he grew up, whatever. But he done, he is a snake. He a snake. He got a nice beard, probably built, nice body, take care of himself, go to the gym, keep himself clean, but he a snake. Mm-hmm. And when I asked for more information about this community, the page of wands came out. It's another page. Now, this queen of cups probably got kids. There's two pages up here. Anyway... This page of wands. Did I say? Yeah, this is page of wands. Page of wands. Fire sign. This page of wands. This page of wands could be an idea. Could be a text message. An idea or a text message. A passionate one. So, this knight of wands could be this king of pentacles texting this queen of cups. He could send her a text. Cause in the in the in the spread, look at him. He looking right at that page of pentacles. He looking at her. She don't know that, but he see her. She don't see him, but he see her. So this could be that knight of pentacles, the snake energy, sending this queen of cups, who's naive to the fact that he looking. He could be sending her a text. He could be getting ready to text you, text you something. And what clarified this page of wands is this knight of swords. Now, like I said in my other videos, this knight of swords, I know from experience this energy of this knight of swords. Now, this knight of swords can sig signal, or not signal, but it can be a person or an action. This knight of swords energy is no joke. This knight of swords energy will catch you off guard and approach you and cuss you out. Cause a scene in front of your neighbors, family, kids. It don't matter. This Knight of Swords. If this Knight of Swords is not the police, which it, it can't also um symbolize, this Knight of Swords is the police. Because in my past, when I pulled this Knight of Swords, something happened with the cops. So, police. But if this Knight of Swords energy is operating in somebody who ain't in no position of authority, this person is ruthless. 
this knight of swords. So he's sending you, he could possibly be sending you a passionate text. Hey, how you doing? I miss you. I'm in town. Remember me? Something like that. I ain't seen you in a while. But inside his heart, he got an accusation against you. He feels some type of way. He don't appreciate you. You probably left him in the past because he had you in this Five of Cups energy. So you probably left. Oh, this don't got to be, you know, it's collective, male or female. But somebody, they going to send you a passionate text. Hey, you want to go out to eat? You want something to eat? This and that. But when you get to dinner with him or her, she got something to say to you. That's what that is. That's what that is. That's why this community is here. So in your evening hours, be careful of old flames, somebody you left Ain't want nothing to do with. Did you wrong in the past? They come back. And I believe you haven't seen this person in a while. Because to me, this page of pentacles is childhood. This could have been your first love when y'all was teenagers. And now he's older. Y'all older. Y'all could be in y'all 20s, 30s, 40s. So y'all done, done got older. This is not somebody you recently broke it off with. This is somebody from the past past. So that's what I got. And then over here, this number two from the Solomon Oracle deck. This probably lighten the mood. Oh, matter of fact, no, let me go back. Let me clarify this Knight of Swords. Let me see what he want to say in Russian about. Clarify the Knight of Swords. Yep, see? See? Number eight. Disappointment. Disappointment. Yeah, he disappoint. I told you. He still want to bring up some, the past. I think you left him. He caused you in this. He caused you emotional regrets and losses in the past. So he, he going to approach you and probably ask you to go out to eat, meet up, whatever. But he want to talk about and discuss... Why you left him or why you left her. They still upset. This Knight of Swords. Or they want to know why you had the nerve to be upset about what they did to you. They want to know why you mad. Why you left. That could be that too. Because remember, this person is a snake. So they mind all whopped up. Probably a narcissist. Crazy. Don't know when they did somebody wrong. And then get mad when you react or have feelings. Because they don't have feelings. So, this Knight of Swords is disappointed. Right? That's what I said. See, that's what came out for him. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Let me put one. Well, let me clarify community. Let me hurry for my video cut off. Again, this is for the collector. For y'all even and I was for December 9th. And y'all gotta forgive me the way. I don't know if I paused my video when I was yelling at my son. <laughs> Clarify community. What is this community about? Clarify community. Yeah. This came out. This came out. This is... Hold on. This clarified community, this community card, which I say could possibly be your ancestors, or it could just be a neighbor. If he creeping around your house, this could be a neighbor watching him or notice some suspicious behavior around your house or something. You know, community. Somebody got your back. So clarifying the community was number 18. And this is um the lady. This card represents the lady, this queen of cups. This card represents the lady whose fortune is being told and all other cards affected to a degree. Hmm. So what I get from this is, if this is angels and spirit guides, this community, whatever this man got planned for you or this person is not a source energy, your fortune was already told by your community, your angels, God, the, the universe, the divine. 
So whatever he think he gonna do do to you in this snake energy, cause snake is indicates enmity and calamities. He probably wanna cause you another calamity. He probably wanna put you back in that five of cups energy. But see, this is where the universe and God say you belong. Your fortune already told. This your community. He ain't your community. He ain't your friend. This is your community. The universe, your angels, your spirit guides, your family, people who really love you. He is not your community. This knight of swords energy, this knight of pentacles energy, this person is not your friend. This person got a, a issue with you. But your fortune has already been told. He's he going to try to tell you your future. No, he not in charge. I got a toddler, so. Ooh-wee. He is hard to the head. It. He hard. <laughs> so, that's why I got to keep pausing the video. I mean, <laughs> y'all probably can hear him. So, I'm going to lighten this mood up a little bit. I'm going to try to because when I read this number two card, it was it was good stuff. So, I'm going to read from King Solomon Oracle Dex because, you know, King Solomon was um the wisest man who ever lived. And this person... <laughs> think they <laughs> King Solomon probably narcissist something wrong with him don't let him uh -uh. he think he King Solomon he think he's God's gift to the world women whoever this is this could be a female or male but card number two it say livelihood work and career money accumulation of wealth the situation, earning money through work, making a good living, a successful and lucrative career, money made through business deals, person, a wealthy person, a career man or woman who makes a decent living, someone charismatic who knows how to make money, advice, hard work and investing in career should be your top priority. Investment of time and effort will bring you financial success. So in spite of all this drama coming in, this is what's going on with you. See, that's why you in this Queen of Cups here. And that's why you in this energy, the Shepherd. That's why. Because you, livelihood, work, and career, money, and accumulation of wealth, that's what you got going on. This is what's going on in your evening hours. You mind your, and that's why I said what I said at the beginning of the reading. Work, if you at work. <laughs> I ain't I, that, that I said it, but it start, and then after a while, it make no sense. I'm like, why am I saying that? Yeah, you probably at work working. You're, you're you probably at home working. You know the pandemic, people at home. But you investing, so. <clears throat> what clarified this number two was the seven of wands, and I already know what I think this is. Like I said, the seven of wands is fire energy. You may have to defend yourself, but you defensive. You're defending and protecting and guarding this. This. You defensive about this. You not obviously you not no dummy. You defending this number two. You defending that. Cause the advice was hard work. Seven of wands. Hard work. And investing in career should be your top priority. Investment of time and effort, time and effort, will bring you financial success. So, I think your advice here, since this number two came out collective, was to keep doing what you're doing. Because you're doing it. You in seven of wands. This is effort. You defending yourself. You doing something, whatever. That you, I think... And what clarified the seven of wands was the king of pentacles. Let me clarify, clarify this king of pentacles. Because remember, hmm, I see I knew it. Remember I said this knight of pentacles is on his way to this queen of cups? Or he was on his way, he wanted to be the king of pentacles? Look, what, look at this. He here. <laughs> 